my dear friends the theme of today's navina will be jesus the light of life in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen we begin with the hymn come holy ghost come holy ghost create a blessed and in our souls take up thy rest come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made we the father and the son and holy spirit with them one and may the son on us bestow the gifts that from the spirit flow come holy spirit fill the hearts of thy faithful and kindle in them the fire of thy love send forth thy spirit and they shall be created and thou shall renew the face of the earth let us pray o god who didst instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the holy spirit grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation through christ our lord amen O Mary conceive without sin pray for us who have recourse to thee O Mary conceive without sin pray for us to have recourse to thee O Mary conceive without sin pray for us who have recourse to thee All together O Lord Jesus Christ who has both saved to glorify by numberless miracles the blessed virgin Mary immaculate from the first moment of her conception grant that all who devoutly implore her protection on earth may eternally enjoy thy presence in heaven who with the father and the holy spirit live it and reign it god forever and ever amen o lord jesus christ who for the accomplishment of thy greatest works has chosen the weak things of the world that no flesh may glory in thy sight and for a better and more widely diffused belief in the immaculate conception of thy mother has wished that the miraculous medal be manifested to saint catherine labore grant we beseech thee that filled with like humility we may glorify this mystery by work and word amen the memorare all together Remember O most compassionate virgin Mary that never was it known that any one who fled to thy protection implored thy assistance or sought thy intercession was left unaided inspired by this confidence we fly unto thee O virgin O virgins our mother to thee we come before thee we kneel sinful and sorrowful O mother of the word incarnate despise not our petitions but in thy clemency hear and answer them amen navina prayers o immaculate virgin mary mother of our lord jesus and our mother penetrated with the most lively confident in thy all powerful and never failing intercession manifested so often through the miraculous medal we thy loving and trustful children implore thee to obtain for us the graces and favors we ask during this novena if they be beneficial to our immortal soul and the souls for whom we pray you make your petitions thou knowest o mary How often our souls have been sanctuaries of thy son who hates iniquity obtain for us then a deep hatred of sin and that purity of heart which will attach us to god alone 
so that our every thought, word and deed may tend to his greater glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial, that we may recover by penance what we have lost by sin, and at length attain to that blessed abode where thou art the queen of angels and of men. Amen. An act of consecration to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal altogether. O Virgin Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to thee under the title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. <clears throat> May this medal be for each one of us a sure sign of thy affection for us and a constant reminder of our duties towards thee. Ever while wearing it, may we be blessed by the loving protection and preserved in the grace of thy Son. O most powerful Virgin, Mother of our Saviour, keep us close to thee every moment of our lives. Obtain for us, thy children, the grace of a happy death, so that in union with thee, we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Mary, conceive without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Mary, conceive without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. We we'll stand for the hymn, Mother dear, O pray for us. Mother dear, O pray for me. Whilst far from heaven and thee, I wander in a fragile brook, O life's tempest you see. O Virgin Mother, from thy throne, so bright in bliss above, protect thy child and cheer my path with thy sweet smile of love. Mother dear, remember me. And never cease thy care Till in heaven eternally Thy love and bliss I share My dear friends, the month of February reminds us of the feast of the presentation of our Lord in the temple. Jesus was presented in the temple and consecrated his life to God. And not only consecrated, but he was the light to the world. Blessed are the poor, pure in heart, for they shall see God. Each one of us has been consecrated at the time of our baptism. And we are consecrated and blessed and given the light of Christ. And so henceforth, from the very first day of our baptism, we are called upon as consecrated people to be consecrated in a life of holiness, a life of purity, so that we can truly see God. Purity is certainly an inner way of spirituality, the spiritual quality of being one with God in holiness. And it is true our pure hearts, when we live pure hearts, that we can be truly with God. To live pure hearts means to be sincere, to be honest, to be upright in our thoughts, words and deeds. And certainly all of us need some time or the other to pray and work towards an inner purity of our own hearts. And as we celebrate the feast of the presentation of our Lord, we remember how Jesus was presented in the temple and Simeon and Anna were joyful to see Jesus and consecrated his life to God. Certainly, being pure of heart means that we need to concentrate our lives, our lives with the Lord 
in holiness. And secondly, we see of how Jesus was the light. And that was what Simeon forecasted when he said, he will be the light to all the nations. A Christian vocation is a vocation of shining forth and we need to be lights in the world. Jesus himself said that a light, when a lamp is put on a bushel, it shines forth. It is not put under a bed, but it is hidden. It needs to be put in the lampstand so that it will shine forth to all, so all may see our own light and we need to reflect the light of Christ in our own way of living. Paul once says, for once you were in darkness, now you are, have the light of Christ. Certainly it is a time of our baptism and when we receive all the sacraments, we receive Jesus as the light. So on this feast of the presentation of our Lord, we need to remember that we are all consecrated. Our lives are consecrated and dedicated towards a life of holiness. And living a life of holiness means we need to really live good lives of sincerity and honesty. And it is when our light shines forth, shines out through our example of sincerity and honesty that we can really say we are disciples of our Lord. So as we pray today and as we reflect on this important feast whereby Mary and Joseph took Jesus to the temple to offer him as a sacrifice to consecrate him. We also remember the days of our own consecration when we are blessed, when we receive the sacraments and are one with God. So let us pray that this feast will help us reflect on our own way of living that we need to be the light of the world. And if we are the light and reflect how we are, our lives are consecrated to the Lord, may we really continue to live lives of holiness, of sincerity and of honesty. Now we'll sing the benediction hymn, Therefore we before him bending. Let us pray. O God, who in a wonderful sacrament has left us a memorial of your passion, grant that we may so reverence the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that the taste of the fruit of your redemption may ever be within us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Bless you. The divine praises all together 
Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ to God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy, blessed be a holy immaculate conception, Blessed be your glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, his angels and in his saints. We sing the final hymn, Mother Dearest, Mother Fairest. Dearest Mother Fairest, help of all who call on Thee. Virgin pure is brightest, rarest, help us, help we cry to Thee. Mary, help us, help we pray. Mary, help us, help we pray. Help us in our pain and sorrow, Mary, help us, help we pray. Lady, help in pain and sorrow, soothe those racked on beds of pain. May the golden light of morrow bring them health and joy again. Mary, help us, help we pray. Mary, help us, help we pray. Help us in all care and sorrow. Mary, help us, help we pray.